Which product do we choose? Let's guess. Since 2000, the consumption of these products in Vietnam has known a growth of 12%. Vietnam started to manufacture these products in the 19th century. Today, it exports 12% of the total volume on the market. Every morning and all around the globe, many people used to wake up with these products. As you might expect, this product is coffee. Coffee exportation represents an important part of the global Vietnamese GDP. Most of the production is directly exported without being roasted in Vietnam. In this presentation, we will focus on coffee bean that follows all the processing stages here on the Vietnamese territory before being spread on the Vietnamese market or exported overseas. Let's see now the different steps of the supply chain from the coffee bean to the final product, from the farmer to the final consumer. The coffee supply chain starts with agricultural processes in tropical countries and ends with the consumption and disposal stages, predominantly in industrialized countries in cooler regions of the world. The current issue in Vietnam is linked to the supply chain control at every step from the farmer to the buyer. These steps need to be better managed. The other main problem are theft or scam on merchandise. For instance, the main type of ripoff that could face coffee buyers, transporters, brokers is putting Robusta instead of Arabica. Another scam could consist in putting rocks in bags instead of coffee to pass weight controls without arousing suspicion. Check some figures. 10 kilos of stolen Robusta, that is the main coffee production in Vietnam, represent a net loss of $2 per 10 kilo, that means $2,000 per ton rub. Just to let you know, in Vietnam, coffee delivery trucks carry an average 10 tons, easy to store small quantities. The integration of new technologies has to solve the paradox of supply chain. We use the term paradox because the goals are to reduce the delivery time, improve the quality of delivery and offer new services while reducing costs, always doing more with less. The technology that we would like to suggest is GPS tracker. But not only, we are thinking about improved coffee, traceability and also safety thanks to RFID in the near future. These two technologies could cooperate to make the life easier to all the actors of the supply chain. We hope to be selected for the next round to present you how, according to us, these technologies could be easily implemented in the Vietnamese coffee industry.